Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano and the Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call? Don't call me. Call your uh, local community markets and tell them to lower the prices on groceries. That is the real scary thing going on. Yes, we keep getting comments, guys, on prices going up in the grocery stores around the country. Um, we've been saying this was going to happen for a while. We've been saying it was going to happen. Um, you know, we're trying to follow as much as we can. Uh, make sure you let us know down in the comments, you know, what things are going on at your stores. I know coffee's going up, meat prices are going up, all this different things are going up. We've got a lot to talk about. We're going to talk about a lot of this stuff in tomorrow morning's Coffee Rants. But tonight, we are talking about Halloween and making sure all them kids get a lot of candy. Candy, 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 candy. Yes, that's right, guys. We are getting prepped, getting ready for the big Halloween give out. Me and Jessica go to her mom and dad's every year to hand out between four and 500 pieces of candy. But we have some things that are extra little special tonight as we have those little pretzels that me and Jessica were not able to eat from Sam's Club. There's just so many, so many, and we don't want them to go bad. So we're going to be giving each kid the first, I don't know how many things of pretzels are in that big container, but uh, the first, I don't know, 50 to 100 kids, how many are in there, will get not only a piece of candy, but they will get a little bag of pretzels. Good evening, guys. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Who are you going to go? I had to had to give Frank a little bit of a break here. Um, wanted to have like a little uh, special here. Just kind of sit and chat with you guys about some different things. Uh, it's one of mine and Jessica's favorite things to do for the year. Um, everybody remembers her mom and dad's house as we hand out a ton of candy. Uh, the neighborhood that we go to, the houses are very close together. So it's kind of a hot spot for trick-or-treaters. I almost wish I would have known that when I was a kid. Um... But yeah, it's it's a gold mine. It's an absolute gold mine. So there is something I kind of want to talk about here for a second because it's some kind of sad news. It's it's really sad, actually. I was we were kind of reminiscing last night as me and Jessica may have had Frisch's big boy for the last time. That's right. I said it. Frisch's big boy, guys. They are closing. They are closing. They are to be evicted evicted in less than seven days six days now we had i had a big boy last night and i just wanted to you know so many memories came back about the big boy and one of the memories that i had is when we were kids we used to get all those little meals for a dollar you got like they still do that they're still giving them out right now even though they are closing now i don't believe all frishes are closing but they keep adding to the list they keep adding to the list um, and it has been a Cincinnati icon for years and years and years. I don't, I don't know how long Frisch's has been around. I, I think it's been around longer than La Rose's. I know the Frisch's mainliner out off of 50, Route 50, River Road in Cincinnati, if you're familiar. Um, I, I hope they're still staying open. Uh, they're closing several on the west side of Cincinnati, a couple on the east side of Cincinnati, a couple north Cincinnati. Now, I will say this, you know, um, now as to where we've always liked our freshes, they've always been very good. Uh, when when the big one closed, it's been a, it's been well over a year since this one closed. Guys, I think, you know, the events of what happened a few years ago, I think killed a lot of restaurant businesses. Um, we continue to see stores close around the country uh, and restaurants, you know, some of them just can't hold their heads above water. Um, I was told, uh, from a reliable source that uh, Frisch's did not even show up to court from what I was told, like they didn't even show up. There was a court hearing, I guess, it, I guess it was yesterday or day before, but they are closing. And yet I went to Frisch's last night and the line out the door was insane because people were wanting to get their big boy before it closes for good. Sad news, guys. And, and yeah, they were still selling the, uh, the little, the Halloween meals. It's like kids meals. You get eight of them for a dollar. I mean, you can't beat that. Um, and some people hand them out is Halloween treats. You know, we, I think we've done that before. It's been years, but, uh, 
you know, just rip one off, put it in, you know, little baskets of candy. Um, I don't know. It's sad news. Sad news for Frisch's. Uh, most of you have seen me point out Frisch's tartar sauce. Uh, how many of you around the country have Bob's Big Boy? I think they're similar. I think they're similar. I think there was a, a test, like a taste test years ago. They had like a competition. I know Frisch has won. Um, but it's, it's sad, guys. Everything, you know, it keeps disappearing. And this, I was kind of reminiscing last night. I was, you know, it was back in Little League baseball games. We would finish our game. Sometimes the whole team would go out to Frisch's and have a big boy. Uh, my uncle, my uncle from California, well, he's from here. He's from Cincinnati, well, Kentucky, Northern Kentucky. And that was one of the big ones that he wanted to have every time he came to Cincinnati was a Frisch's big boy, you know, and, uh, that and White Castle and Skyline, um, I guess, you know, they don't have those out in California. We would sometimes send care packages of these out there to him for Christmas. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, you start thinking of, of all these things from the past and it's like, man, there's a, there's a lot of history with Frisch's and I, it seemed like nobody wanted to do anything about it. And, you know, Frisch's isn't like Walgreens. They're not all over the country. There's not, you know, I don't know how many stores, thousands and thousands of Walgreens. I know they're talking about closing 1200 Walgreens over the course of the next year or more. Um, but, you know, all these different restaurants, Red Lobster, this one we kind of forgot about, I think. A lot of Red Lobsters are closing. Uh, Denny's, Denny's just announced that they're going to be closing over 150 stores. I just read that this morning. Now, I know in some, we don't have Denny's around here. There is one in Walton, Kentucky, which is about an hour drive. I love Denny's, but I'll tell you what, I have been to some pretty bad ones. I've been to some pretty bad Frishes, too. So, I mean, that, you know, not saying that's part of it. It could be. But, um, and everywhere where you have a lot of different restaurants, you know, there's going to be one or two you stop at every now and then. It's like, wow, I just won't go to that one anymore. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, that was crazy. Just, just fresh in the mind of Denny's. Let us know down in the comments if you have read about that yet. I know a lot of our viewers always talk about Denny's. And, you know, when me and Jessica do our travel videos and stuff, a lot of you have said that is where you like to stop. A couple of you have mentioned even the same trip that we take to Florida, to Orlando, uh, the different Denny's that you would stop at. And we commented on the ones that we stopped at that you did too. Uh, and, you know, a lot of memories, guys. A lot of memories uh, through Denny's. And, um, you know, I will say one thing. Me and Jessica really quit going to Waffle House. Uh, the Waffle House is within probably 50 miles of here. I'll tell you what, it just does not taste the same. Now, you get further south, I know there's a Waffle House down in Pigeon Forge that's really good. Um, but yeah, the ones around here really haven't been that great. And, and you know, it's I they're still open, right? So, I mean, it, I guess they're doing business. I think one big seller with Waffle House, too, is I actually don't know if the ones around here are open 24 hours, but that's a big seller for them is they're usually, a lot of them are open 24-7. So, you know, you got a lot of truck drivers off the road that are stopping in there, you know, two, three in the morning to get to get dinner or lunch or, what you know, whatever shift they're doing there. Um, and I think that's kind of what keeps them afloat. But, yeah, guys, sad news about Frisch's. And I don't want to keep going on and on about it. It's just kind of fresh. We didn't think that ours was going to be closing. And they are. Now, I spoke with a manager who I've known for years who has worked at different Frisch's uh, franchises and stuff. And uh, he had told me that there was some supposed, supposed to be some emergency action Friday, tomorrow. Um, but... I, he didn't hear the news about the, the court and all that because uh, I people were because they didn't understand why it was getting so busy. And I said, well, they they announced that, you know, this one's closing and he didn't say nothing for a second and just kind of, you know, I told him I, I shook his hand. I said I held up my hand. I said, good luck, man. You know, just, you know, because uh, I, I originally asked him, I said, you know, what store are you going to? You know, and I wasn't going to talk to any of the employees that I knew there because I wasn't sure if they knew about it, but I knew the manager and I was like, I'll chat with him for a second, you know, but, uh, got the big boy. Jessica mentioned one thing. Uh, one of the biggest sellers in the city of Cincinnati is the hot fudge cake. 
the hot fudge cake where it has the ice cream in the middle. Um, people were ordering those left and right. I forgot how popular they are. I'm not a huge fan of them. I, I know a lot of people are. Jessica loves it. Um, but I didn't even think to get one. Uh, maybe we'll get one over the weekend or something. Another thing that I really like about Frisch's, but we haven't been doing it because it's gotten very expensive, is the breakfast bar. On the weekends, they have a nice breakfast bar with pretty much anything you can think of. I Most of you on the channel know that I love grits. And, you know, they're not the best, but I mean, at least they're made... <laughs> And I kind of dock them up myself, you know, a little butter, a little salt, a little sugar, you know, good to go. Um, but, and, and honestly, that's kind of gone downhill over the years, but I feel like most like buffet foods have gone downhill over the years for things like that. But when they started raising their prices on that and, and it is expensive now at Frisch's and I think that has really hurt them as well. I mean, it's like, it's like $7 for a big boy. I mean, that is outrageous. I didn't care yesterday because, you know, it might be the last one I ever have. Probably will be. But I will say it was delicious. Every bite was a memory, guys. I, I, you know, it's, you, um, you know, you forget about things sometimes, uh, you know, how, how much you appreciated them. And then, you know, it, it's like with anything, you know, it's like you always, uh, you know, you forget about some things sometimes, but when they're gone, you know, that's, that's when you wish you had them back. So I wanted to make sure me and Jess had at least one good memory of Frisch's left. Uh, we did get the chili as well. The chili is fantastic. If you've ever had Frisch's chili. Um, and yeah, she, uh, Jessica's not a fan of the tartar sauce. She likes the tartar sauce, but she doesn't like it on the hamburger. She'll eat the tartar sauce like with fries and stuff like that. Um, and I will say it is, it is the best tartar sauce I've ever had. So anyway, enough memories of Frisch's. Uh, sad to see it go. Hopefully they work something out. Hopefully, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But this is just another, another thing that's closing guys. It, you know, all these stores are closing. Um, and, and it's a multitude of reasons, multitude of reasons. I did find out that our big lots is not closing at least not yet. But they keep closing all around the country. I, I was talking about that in a coffee rant we had the other day. And a lot of people were saying that your big lots had just closed. Um, and it seemed like it was all over the country where this was happening. So, I don't know, guys. Drinking the um, Starbucks breakfast blend today. It's a nice lighter coffee. It Honestly, it tastes exactly like Dunkin'. This is like a Dunkin' knockoff at the breakfast blend here. I really feel like this, <laughs> you know, if you blindfolded me and I tasted this, it tastes exactly like Duncan. And that's okay, because I like Duncan. Oh, guys, I, I hope everybody has a happy Halloween. Um, I am putting a video out in the morning. Uh, as, you know, as of right now, me and Jessica are getting ready to load up the car with all the candy, 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 candy. Um... Kids are going to be happy. We got some good deals on candy. We got the good stuff. We got the Reese's. We got the Hershey's. We got the, uh, you know, little gummies. We got Skittles. We got all the stuff the kids liked. And I feel, um, you know, people were talking that candy had really gotten expensive. Well, you know, like everything else, we took advantage of the deals when we saw them. Um, we did get a bag at Sam's Club that was a good deal for, for what we were getting. We wanted to make sure that we got, you know, a good size bag of of good candy, you know, candy that people are going to like, you know, not that, you know, kids, kids like everything, but you know, we always, we want them to remember that Dano and Jess gave them this snicker bar or something Twix, you know, I remember back when I was younger, uh, me and my mom and, uh, my friends would always go out trick or treating, or even when we were a little older, me and my friends would go out trick or treating. And there was this one area there was this one area close to my aunt, my mom's sister, and that street, guys, I'm telling you, they, it was awesome. Everybody in the neighborhood, it was like a, a it was a, uh, a hidden gem. It was a hidden gem because everybody on the street, they were giving out cans of pop. They were giving out whole candy bars. There were people, they used to do like caramel apples. I don't think they do that anymore. Just, you know, it's different times, you know, but Oh, I remember that. That was that was great. You know, that's what that's what made me the man I am today. 
But anyway, guys, I hope everybody has a happy Halloween. I will have something out here for you in the morning. It's going to be, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff going on. I don't want to spoil any of that right now, but I will see you guys in the morning. Everybody have a happy Halloween and have a great night.